The grouper is a deep sea fish, but this one isn't out in the open ocean. It's one of hundreds being raised in the bustling city of Hong Kong. You must be kidding. Everybody would think that way. This city is known for its financial markets, its picturesque skyline. Not a lot of farming here. Yet in this old industrial building, up on the 14th floor, is a fish farm that hopes to provide an answer to deep sea overfishing. Some fishermen are uh, you know, putting a lot of pressure on the natural sea stock. So we decided that you know, if we can uh, raise it in a uh, fish farm, then it would help uh, the natural stock. Environmentalists say there are real concerns about the world's fish stocks. We're currently undergoing a global fisheries crisis. Uh, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN estimates that 75% of all fish stocks in the world are either fished to their limit or actually already overfished. Quite a lot of the groupers and wrasse um, that are the main species are actually threatened with extinction in the wild. In places like China, grouper is a popular dish. So to help feed that demand, this Australian company is raising mouse grouper and other Chinese favorites. We want to produce a product that we can guarantee no drugs, no hormones, uh, and, and no diseases. From the hectare all the way to the table, we manage a whole system. Manager Brutus Lowe says the fish are bred here from young and fed specially formulated pellets. He also says the filtration system discharges little waste into the environment. It's a recycling system. Uh, we you know, have continuous 24-hour day recycling, so that's guaranteed the water quality. But pumping all that water takes energy. Just one reason why this fish merchant thinks fish farming is better left outdoors. Indoors, you must install an aircon system, bacteria cleaning system, internal system, plus facilities, plus rent, plus fees, labor costs. It's expensive. That's why for now, most company is only focusing on breeding fish that go for top dollar in the market. Kids are selling for about $200 a piece. But what about the taste? An ordinary person who doesn't have much expertise or preference, they may not be able to taste the difference. But for people like us, we can taste the difference for sure. Even so, if everything goes swimmingly, this company says it plans to expand. It hopes its urban fish farm will allow people to eat grouper with a clear conscience for years to come. Eunice Yoon, CNN, Hong Kong.